What up, everybody? It's the Golden Sound twice. Mmm. Just spinning off an affogato, which I will explain what that is in the thing that will come after this because that video is not uploading right now. So, well then. Mmm. I do not like vanilla bean ice cream. Too many chunks in there. So, whole point of this video is to talk about Race to the Edge Season 5. What episode are we on? That's the wrong thing to click on. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So we were at Dawn of Destruction. So this is where things get a lot more serious. We're getting plot. Ooh, what is that? That light should I just stand right there? Aha! But is this my good angle? Hmm. So... I'm short. Hey, okay. how you doing? So, um, it was a really fun episode. I love the fact that uh, Snot Loud is very like he's just so he like he he struggles admitting that he wants to spend time. I'm hungry. I'm gonna make toast while I'm making this video. So. Thanks. That's fine. We're all into it. So, um, I like how Snot Loud is. Hi, I'm not professional at all. <laughs> so, I like how Snot Loud is very, like, he wants to spend time with Hiccup and Astrid, but he's also that, like, he has that tough guy exterior, so we can't show what his feelings and emotions are. So he's just going to be a whiny pissy baby instead. Uh, but everybody is like, as much as they're all happy for um, Astrid and Hiccup to finally be together, they're also like, it's getting to the point where the two are struggling with their uh, balance of being in a relationship and wanting to spend a lot of time together, but also their team and their friends, which is a really hard thing to balance out. And I like the way that this show addresses it where it doesn't make... It doesn't paint either Astrid or Hiccup as bad people for wanting to spend time with each other. But it does show if you spend too much time together, especially when you're a team that involves a lot of training and tactical things like that, you do need to spend equal amounts of time. And it is hard because they're in a romantic relationship, but they also have dragons that they have to take care of. They also have other responsibilities. And so it is very hard for them to kind of balance that all out. And I think the show does a really great job in, um, in showing that. There we go. And now, but the lighting's worse. Oh, now you can see me perfect. So I think the show does a really good job of showing how you struggle with the balances, but also showing that Hiccup and Astrid aren't, they're not all over each other, and I kind of feel a little bad for them almost because they're not all over each other. They clearly know what their responsibilities are, but again, it's just that finite balance, and they recognize that too at the end of the episode, and they admit and they realize that they needed to spend more time. Now, of course, for us, as as uh, Snatloud so eloquently puts as the Hickstrid um ships for those of us who love the Hickstrid ship and have been waiting for them to get together we are dying for those moments they're like give it to us i will eat all of this um you know my interpretation of us enjoying our fan service um but as much as we have been desiring it the show doesn't really show us in a way how much time they are spending with each other so for us it's like only been a few episodes where we get ro like slightly romantic inclinations but for the team they're like dude we have been it's been months you don't even remember our names so it was a really interesting aspect to it and i also really like the fact that we're getting our main villains back in they've taken over the island via singe tail which Singe tails are nasty, nasty things. So, as much as I hate the uh, dragon captors, I kind of have to be like, hmm, okay, yeah, you, uh, y'all know what you're doing there. You, you got some singe tails going on. But, um, 
So it was it was a very interesting episode. We see them lose the edge. We also get a call back to uh, Darfog, so that was awesome. Did I say his name correctly? No, I did not. Just be patient enough with me here. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. And yes, I'm putting honey on toast. There's nothing as delicious as honey on toast, uh, except for watching Hickstrid moments, which again, I love the fact that the show, they are absolutely aware of themselves, and they're like, <laughs> Hickstrid, oh you Hickstrid shippers. So I feel like Snout Loud is our main person for that. Also, don't do what I just did. You know, do as I say, don't do as I do. <laughs> but all in all, it was a wonderful, wonderful episode. I enjoyed it. The next few episodes were getting more uh, plot going. We're going to get into the war. So going to be interesting, going to be super exciting. We're going to see our main villains coming out again. And I'm just, I'm so excited. But anywho, I've got cornbread that's going to come out, excuse me, gluten-free cornbread, gluten-free toast coming out of the oven. And I have to go work out so my fibromyalgia doesn't kill me. All right. Well, so I hope that you enjoyed this terrible review. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. I will continue on with this series. So anyway, the golden sound twice out. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.